Over 3,000 feet beneath the surface of the ocean, where the rays of the sun begin to get sparse and the pitch darkness takes over, swims one of the largest predator known to man. One of the most unique and highly specialized groups of animals is called the cetaceans, who have evolved over the course of their evolutionary history to thrive in very large aquatic environments, such as the deep blue oceans, where no man dares to delve into. Meet the sperm whale, the killer of killer whales. The Physeter macrophallus, otherwise and more commonly known as the sperm whale, is one of the most well-known diving cetaceans. Sperm whales are the largest predator in the world that currently coexists with the human race today. The sperm whale possesses the largest known brain of any living or extinct mammal, weighing an average of 17 pounds and measuring about 2.1 gallons in volume. It is no surprise that sperm whales might submerge themselves for up to 138 minutes and dive down to a maximum depth of 3,280 feet. According to reports, though, the average sperm whale dives last between 33 and 53 minutes. Sperm whales use echolocation for hunting, and the mechanism behind it is among the most remarkable features of the species. One of the strongest sounds in the animal realm is their clicks. The sperm whale produces a narrow beam of broadband clicks during their echolocation. Air is forced through a pair of phonic lips located at the front of the nose, just below the blowhole, to produce clicks. The spermaceti organ then allows the sound to return along the length of the nose. Most of the sound energy is then focused by the lens-like structure after being reflected off of the frontal sac at the cranium that leads to the melon. Sperm whales are constantly eating. Around 91 million tons of prey are thought to be consumed by sperm whales each year in total. They eat a variety of animals, primarily medium-sized squid, but notably giant squids, octopuses, and fish like demersal rays and even sharks constitute their diet. Some prey may even be inadvertently devoured while consuming other creatures. But as an apex predator, there must be some way to inflict pain on those they cannot devour and on those who attack first. And evolution hasn't ruled out advancing developments in this characteristic either. Pilot whales and false killer whales occasionally trouble sperm whales, whereas the orcas, or killer whales, are their most frequent natural predators. But of course, they're only predators to females and youngs. There are no known predators for males and they're thought to be too big, too strong, too hostile for killer whales to pose a threat. Sperm whales will show no hesitation to make use of their enormous head as battering rams when confronting a threat. They use another tactic, which we can see effectively being used against this killer whale right here. Since the sperm whales are too slow to outrun their attackers who swim at a speed of 36 miles per hour, instead, they strike at them with their loud underwater clicks. The loudest creature on the planet is the sperm whale, with its defensive clicks being louder than a physical gunshot. And here, we see the orca fleeing in defeat, hoping that it never comes across him again. In addition to all this, the gigantic tails of sperm whales have also proved to have enough power to instantly destroy other aquatic creatures. There have been very few cases in modern times that imply otherwise, but sperm whales are generally peaceful of a species, meaning that these fighting mechanisms, though rare, have indeed been used on humans. The most famous example is the attack on the Essex whale ship in 1820. The Essex was struck by a massive sperm whale that was reportedly 85 feet long, and as a result, she sank. Three whale boats, or the lighter boats used to capture whales with their crew, were abandoned thousands of miles from land. The sailors were left alone in the middle of the Pacific Ocean and had to choose between making the arduous voyage of approximately 3,000 miles to reach the South American peninsula. Herman Melville would say that this event was one of the inspirations for the world-famous novel Moby Dick. However, as previously mentioned, they are on the more innocuous side when talking about combat, only fighting in cases of direct or indirect provocation and for necessary hunting for nourishment. As a result of this, they have various defensive strategies. Their clicks, of course, are an aspect that we've already seen. When orcas hunt pods of females which form lasting bonds with other females, Forming social units, they often last entire lifetimes. 
The ladies will encircle an injured adult or their calves to protect them. They may have their tails flail out and facing inward in a formation known as the Marguerite Formation, christened after the flower, utilizing their hefty, powerful tail that has the ability to strike with deadly force. Solitary bulls even have a history of interfering with and assisting nearby weak clusters. Sperm whales can swim in spurts of up to 37 kilometers per hour, or 23 miles per hour, thanks to their massive tail fluke and a cruise at a pace of 7.4 kilometers per hour, or 4.6 miles per hour. But more importantly, as they are the deepest diving animals on the planet, allowing them to utilize this feature to evade enemies and other threats. Sperm whales, who have approximately 70-year lifespans, procreate to generate offspring to maintain the survival of their stunning species, as we all do. One scientifically developed and refined by evolution. Female sperm whales reach sexual maturity at about age 9, when they're about 29 feet long. At this point, growth slows, and they have calves about one every five to seven years. After a 14 to 16 month gestation period, a single calf, about 13 feet long, is born. Females reach physical maturity at the age of 30, when they can reach a maximum length of 35 feet. Quite stirringly, every sperm whale alive now descends from a single grandmother who lived 80,000 years ago. Though according to research published in the journal Molecular Ecology, researchers examined 1,600 whales from around the world and discovered that they all share the same mitochondrial DNA. Males are marginally larger than females for the first 10 years or so of life, but beyond that, until well into their 30s, they continue to grow significantly. Males mature physically at about the age of 50, when they're around 52 feet long. However, the largest sperm whale ever measured was a staggering 79 feet long. That's longer than the Hollywood sign in California. Males experience puberty later than females, typically between the ages of 10 and 20. Sperm whales sleep briefly each night despite being huge predators. They are the least sleep-dependent mammals because they only nap for 15 to 20 minutes at a time, or 7% of the day. Vertically sleeping, their heads are at or below the surface. This sleeping pattern began being studied in 2008. During brief sleep, each whale floats for 15 to 20 minutes, and they don't breathe during these naps. Unknown, but estimated to be in the hundreds of thousands, is the total number of these true mystifying beasts in the world. Fishing net entanglement and shipwrecks are the main dangers to sperm whales. There is a growing fear that the sperm whale populations might be adversely affected in the future by the absorption of marine debris such as plastics, ocean noise, and chemical pollution. Compared to many other whales, the sperm whales were targeted by whalers for their spermaticea oil, which is used in soap, cosmetics, and lamp oils. Perfumers also look for ambergris, a hard, waxy, combustible substance produced when the defecation with sperm whales' intestinal systems bursts out. And after ocean sources such as sunlight, bacteria, enzymes, and others clean it, and finally a fragrant fixative is formed. According to the IUCN, sperm whales are vulnerable animals. According to the United States Endangered Species Act, the species is categorized as endangered. Appendix 1 of the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora protects the species. As a result, all international trade is highly regulated through a system of licenses and certifications, making commercial international trade of the species completely illegal. Today, this enchanting and intriguing species holds dominance in all major oceans in the world, and it seems likely that this species, theoretically the only one capable of swallowing you alive, will keep this dominance for generations. And until drastic niche changes, these hunters will reign over the deep, dark, and mysterious blue for years upon years to come. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.